another edition of the Penalty Box with your host, Kalal Oakman. Tonight is the night. Opening night went out without a hitch, but there were some minor problems with rules. Now, I'm not going to dedicate a whole show talking about the bullshit rules. The rules are not bullshit. What's bullshit, and I'm saying bullshit, is some of the guys didn't read the rules when it was specifically expressed to all players, you must when you take the ice, you are signing your name on the deadline saying, I read the rules, I will adhere to the rules, I will play to the letter of the rules. Some guys didn't. I'm not going to name any flipping names, but you know who you are out there. And believe me, you're lucky. In my opinion, you're lucky. Zero tolerance is zero tolerance. The league's taking care of it. They're taking care of the issues. I'm not here to promote that or pimp that up. But frankly... Come on, you knuckleheads. Use common sense. You get on the ice, you better have your eggs in that basket. You're pooping a group. In other words, shit together. Because if you don't, if you screw up this much, I swear to God. Oh, mm, there are people in the AHL that didn't make the team right now, didn't get drafted. They're working their butts off in the AHL. Some NHL player is going to sit there and board play somebody where you shouldn't. Are you dumb? Are you trying to get sent down? Are you trying to get kicked out of the league? Seriously. Come on, people. Even a goon knows not to do that. But I'm not going to dedicate the whole show to that. Instead, I have some other interesting news going around the VHL right now. In other words, we have another show, a new radio show that starts next Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, just by uh, done by Just Donnie. Don't know the name of the show yet, but it should be interesting. I also want to give props out to my editor-in-chief with the VHL News Department, Dudley Do-Right, the guy behind the scenes. The guy does amazing things, corrects spelling errors, makes sure shows run right. He's probably going to censor this show a little bit because this is like a little off the top, you know, or, or over the top, off the cuff. You know what I say? Here's my script. I don't need it. Okay, I basically see everything that's going on in the BHL right now, both the gameplay, rules, forums, boards. I talk to owners. I talk to players. I know what's going on. Not, not a piece of my script. Oh, look at this. See? Script. <laughs> you don't want to hear some stupid canned object, uh, 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 objective, uh, biased opinion. You want to hear what's really going on in the VHL. Well, I got something for you. Tonight, we have two interviews, one with Knights of God from the Providence Bruins, and finally, the TBU Tiny interview. I have to warn you, anybody has children, make sure the children are at the neighbor's house. This interview is graphic. Too graphic, I couldn't show any of it last episode. But more on that after this quick break. But before we get to those two interviews, I want to start something off, something new on the penalty box. A new segment called Two Minute Minor, where I, the host, get to share my personal opinion on a couple key issues going on around the league. Issue number one for tonight, goalies. All goalies. Young, old veteran, rookie, up and coming, grinder, journeyman, whatever you want to call yourselves. Goalies in general. You all know what I'm talking about here if you play goalie. Patrick Waugh was one of the greatest goalies ever played the game. Changed the game. Same thing with Martin Brodeur. But Patrick Waugh was also famous for doing something else. Patrick Waugh dictated to his defenseman what he wanted to see on the ice. He told Rob Blake, Ray Bork, you know, Sandy Sosa Lynch, Adam Foote, all those guys, don't block any shots for me. Don't dive in front of the shot. Let me take the shot. You cover the guys over here. I don't want anybody in my face. Get them out of my grill. That was Patrick Waugh. A couple other goalies in the VHL are starting to act like Patrick Waugh. It is my personal opinion that if you sit there and act like Patrick Waugh and start dictating to your defense that you want to be like Patrick Waugh, you don't want anybody to dive and block shots. You want people to move traffic in front of the net so you don't get screened. But... You don't want anybody diving to stop that blistering slap shot that you may not be ready for? Well, here's the ticket. If you're going to do that like Patrick Waugh, you better play like Patrick Waugh. You can't sit there and tell your defense that you wanted this and that and this and that, and then you stand there and don't block any of the shots. You're the last line of defense. You put the pads on for that reason. Do you put the pads on to look big and buff? No, 
Oh, you put the pads on so you can stop this little thing from hitting your fucking little net. You are supposed to block shots if you're the goalie. If you tell your defense to not block shots for you, that leaves just you. I can understand. I don't want to get screened. Screenshots suck. I played a little net back in my day. I know how it is. But frankly, I would rather have my defense out there getting in the face of the other guy with the puck than have to worry about getting screened. Seriously, if you're going to open your trapper, and I ain't talking about the glove hand, and tell your defense not to block any shots because you want to be like all up Patrick Waugh, you better put up or shut up. And that has been the Two Minute Miner. Two Minute Miner, brought to you in part by Red Bull, the drink of champions. Red Bull. Welcome back. Due to technical difficulties out of my control, both interviews have been postponed till next episode. Uh, there's been some satellite feed interference with the interview with the Providence Bruins captain, Knights of God, and there has been a minor mishap with the uh, TBU Tiny interview. Turns out TBU Tiny kind of had a pregame snack, and it included uh, my cameraman, Mike, and boom, mic operator. It does. That's why it does. I was sent through last night, and I couldn't show you any clips. So that's all I got for now for the penalty box, but stay tuned for next episode when we will have that TVU Tiny interview and also the interview with the Providence Bruins captain, Knights of God, and more news from around the league. Remember, folks, make sure you know and understand the rules before you hit the ice. Stop with the board play. Goalies start blocking this puck. And the rest of you, I'll see you at center ice when the puck drops. Good night.